guys, Marco here. Welcome to this ukulele lesson. Today we're going to take a look at this awesome and beautiful chord progression played with a quite interesting finger picking pattern. Now we're going to take it step by step. I'm going to start by showing you the chords and then the finger style pattern and then we're going to play this awesome chord progression which by the way is also played with a nice melody. Now if you are new to this channel consider subscribe and make sure that you hit the like button it's pretty good for the algorithm. Also guys I run a guitar channel Make sure that you check it out, it's called Marco Cirillo, which is me. Now the chord progression is beautiful. I have the F major chord, a B flat sus2 chord, back to the F major, and then I have a C sus4 and a C major. Now we're going to play the F uh, like this, 2, 0, 1, and then on the first string, I'm playing the fret number three, I really like this voicing. For the B flat sus two, I'm playing fret three, two, one, and I'm gonna keep the same voicing on the first string, fret number three, it's a beautiful chord. Back to the F major. Now for the C sus four, I'm playing the chord like this. So I have open, open, the fret number one, which is the fourth, and then the first string for number three. And then I get rid of the uh, index finger, so I'm going from the C sus4 to the C major chord. The finger picking pattern is simple and interesting. In fact, I'm gonna put down the chord and then I'm gonna pick the uh, fourth and the first string. And then the second and third simultaneously. So I have two, three, four. And then I do the same with the B flat uh, major. Two, three, four. Back to the F major. Now for the C, because we have two chords, I'm gonna have the C sus2 played twice. One, two, and then the C major. Three and four. Now, for the finger picking pattern, guys, you can either use thumb and middle, and then thumb and index, or you could just use the same two fingers, thumb and index, and thumb and index. It's not um, fast, so you can actually use the same set of fingers, but I like to do thumb and middle, and thumb and index. Now once we heard the first four bars, it's kind of pretty easy to then add different chords. In fact, I'm gonna play the D minor chord, which is played like this. Um, is on fret two, two, one, and the top, um, the first string, fret number three. So we keep the same voicing, and it's a beautiful chord. Same finger picking pattern, guys, yeah? Now the next chord is the B flat sus2, we already know it. And we'll go back to the F. Now for the C major, now we're gonna change things around and we're gonna play it like this. How beautiful is this little chord? So I have open, 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 and the first string for number seven. We're gonna use the same finger picking pattern, but be careful guys, because you don't wanna play too hard on the uh, bottom string here. You don't want it to be too loud, because we have the first string on fret seven, so make sure that you watch out you know, for the dynamics and don't play too loud. So far the chords have been pretty simple, so we can actually add a melody to make things a little bit more musical and melodic. So we're gonna play the melody like this. So we're using the same set of chords, right? But we're changing the order. So I'm gonna start with the B flat sus2 and I'm going to arpeggiate this chord like this, 
thumb, index, middle, and ring. And then the melody on the first string, fret number one, open, and the fret number three. So one more time. Now the next chord is the C major, so I'm playing the fret three. And then I have the chord with the thumb, index, middle, and ring finger, so it's the same arpeggio. The bass note again with the uh, thumb, and then the first string for number one, open, and the second string for number one. This is when we're gonna change the chord, and we're gonna play the D minor chord, but we're only gonna play one note, which is the bass, now on the third string, fret number two, played with the thumb, and then I have this beautiful melody. So I'm playing the second string, fret number one and three, and then the first string open, and the fret number one, and I'm gonna try to hold this bass note uh, down. So the third string, fret number two, I'm gonna try to hold it down while I play the melody. And then we finish with this chord. So I'm playing the fourth string, fret number two, and the first string, fret number three. Pluck these two notes simultaneously. Then the fret number one, open, and the second string open. So when I put the whole thing together slowly, Now we're gonna go back to the B sus2, same arpeggio, but we change the melody. So fret one, open, and then we slide on the first string from fret number five to fret number seven. We finish with the fourth string open. Three and four, and we finish with the outro. So you can put down the F major chord, and we're gonna play like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we finish with these two notes. So the second string and the first string, fret number eight. So it's definitely a beautiful chord progression. It's not the easiest uh, chord progression. Some of these chords have four notes, so if you are a beginner playing the ukulele, you might find some of these chords to be quite challenging. So if this is the first time you're playing this beautiful B flat sus2, make sure that you take it step by step and position each finger correctly, like this. Now I'm gonna leave you to practice this. You can get the tab, check the Patreon page, guys, and support this channel. Enjoy this lesson, and I'll see you soon.